Hi, folks, and welcome to another edition of The Legacy. I'm your host, Doc Walker. Each week, we take an in-depth look at the great history of Washington football, old school to new, with one thing in mind, and that is to win. And this week, folks, we hit the jackpot. Cause we got a guy that many think is a black top legend when it comes to <laughs> basketball. Now they tell me this boy had game. He went years without losing. Sean Springs, we ask you, the former Blue Devils, of course, let's get that straight here in Maryland. Is your hoop game legendary or is this a myth? You know what? You know, that that's a high praise because my school is known for uh, basketball and Darren McClinton is the legend. Him and Kevin are the, are the, are the guys uh, throwing uh, Chris McGuthrie in there. But um, I wasn't at to their level, man. I, I was I was the guy. They like to treat me nice and build me up because they wanted me to get rebounds and play defense so they can shoot. That's how, that's how they did me, Doc. They, they brought me out. They hype you up so they can shoot. And uh, But uh, once they left, I became the man. I tell them, you know, everybody else, now you got to wait your turn. I, like I used to tell my man, rest in peace to Coach Thompson. I said, it came down between me and Alveston. He said, you made the right decision. <laughs> your mother, military. Your father, militaristic. And also a flat out baller. I get the pleasure of recruiting him to the University of California at Los Angeles in 1975. And of course, I lost him to the Buckeyes. But also there's a rumor that we're gonna get all of this stuff on the table today, Springs, that you were headed to Ann Arbor to put on the maize and blue. True or false? That's a true story. I uh, I committed to the University of Michigan thinking that my dad was gonna allow me to do that. But you know, he set me up. You know, Coach Gary Mola, who was the head coach at the time, you know, he was like, hey, you, you, you th- you're going to be the guy. You're going to come to Michigan. They had a great team. They were, they, you know, they had a winning program. The guy who hosted me, you know, had a long career in the NFL named Ty Law. Yeah. Uh, some of you guys might remember Tyrone Wheatley was there. They had a pretty yeah. good team. Uh, and they had a guy who would have been in the class right behind me named Tom Brady. So, you know, I, I already was ready to set to go. And then uh, my dad said, you know what? That ain't happening. You're going to be a Buckeye. And it worked out for me. When we lost show, man, first of all, the, the ordeal in which it was, his strength. Yeah. I mean, to have been in a coma for the exi- existing time that he was, you yep. offered a kidney, he refused it. You knew he was never going to do that. All right. But to see the kind of guy your dad was and a teammate in Everson Walls would give up a kidney for a teammate, not a relative. I just got to ask, man, at some point, how did you deal with what had to be the very the toughest time of your life? You've had some real highs, but that was a real low. Yeah, that, that was a low. And all the things you mentioned, Doc, it was a fact, you know, we, and we started off talking about how did I be a high draft pick. That doesn't happen without my father being in my life, a person like that who's always pushed me to the next level, who's always challenged me to be better, to discipline myself and make sure that, you know, I never lose sight of that. You know, it ain't no shortcuts. He always talked about you got to work and you got to outperform. And he used to always say, there's somebody in Texas, there's somebody in California that's working. And, um, you know, before he passed away, he just, you know, installed some valuable lessons that I try to pass on to my kids about detailing work, disciplining yourself. And, you know, Doc, you know, when you talk about militaristic, you talk about old school, they like to say it's old school now. What no excuses, <laughs> you know, and you know, you know, type of personality my dad was, is, you know, he just said you had to own it, you know, whether you, and I think that's what some of these kids don't do this day. They don't own it, right? It's, you know, it's everybody else's fault. But my dad was like, he, you know, he was quick to hold you accountable and say, no, what could you have done better? The Legacy is brought to you by Janet King. Let Janet King get your business back to business. Visit to schedule a disinfecting service today. D.C. has a home for the greatest hits of all time. That would be Michael Jackson for me. D.C.'s greatest hits. Madonna. Billy Idol. Live here. Cindy Lauper. Bon Jovi. 94.7. Blondie. The Eagles. The Drive. Free health care. Hundreds to more than $1,000 per month in disability compensation and tens of thousands for college tuition. These are just some of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs benefits that may be available to veterans. 
VA is focused on customer service like never before. Choose VA and see why veterans' trust in VA reached an all-time high. Claim the benefits you've earned at choose.va.gov. When was the last time you experienced something different? D.C. has a home for the greatest hits of all time. That would be Michael Jackson for me. D.C.'s greatest hits. Madonna. Billy Idol. Live here. Cindy Lauper. Bon Jovi. 94.7. Blondie. The Eagles. The Drive. You've been Pro Bowl. You've been All Pro. But I go back once again to being defensive player of a conference at, at a corner. Mind-boggling for me. And then to go through... From being local kid here on the East to going all the way out, and you know Seattle, most people don't even know where it's at. I didn't I mean, know it's where a it was. Long, thank you. It's a long way out there. And then the Seahawks weren't what they were then, but they became. You were around some real sharp minds of the game. Yep. With your stops from Seattle, Washington, and of course, the New England Patriots. The old man not only made sure you were athletic, but you know the game mm -hmm. from the top up. And he made sure that you weren't going to be. And the most, the thing that I'm most proud of, of you, and I know he is too looking down, is that you're not a statistic of a former number one pick, third pick in the draft who's broke. As a matter of fact, you build, use your business acumen, and you have now flipped the script and and doing some things that are, that I don't think get enough credit yeah. about your entrepreneurship. And and dude, who who dropped that seed on that? That mom's the dad. Oh, uh, you know that's that's both of the parents, you know. But you know, you know, my mom told me when I was going, when I was at Ohio State, I was a freshman, when I was about to quit football because after you know Joey Galloway and Terry Glenn, them boys ran past me a couple times. I didn't know if it was for me. <laughs> and my mom said, I don't have my house yet. So that let me know right then and there that I needed to uh, always grind and continue working. And when you think about um entrepreneurship the legendary paul allen most people you know don't understand or know that when i was being drafted paul allen was buying the team at the same time mr allen most people uh in the tech world know him as the founder with bill gates of microsoft yeah and he was the one you know doc that really inspired me to uh look at the tech world different today you know my company you know we're a material data and technology company and I wanted to okay. win back my company went back. We started off uh, providing impact protection solutions for helmets and working right. with the NFL and Department of Defense. And now, you know, I never thought that, you know, although I'm on a Hall of Fame list, I don't know if I ever make the NFL Hall of Fame, but in 2023, I'll be in the American History Museum as one of the great innovators in our country. But, well, from for for like se for seven years they're doing an exhibit. I'm one of like four people they're doing an exhibit on, oh, and I, I would have never thought that you know coming from, you know my humble beginnings and, and how my dad my dad can make you feel like you've done nothing in life, but <laughs> uh, um, I never thought that I would be in a museum and it, it, and that means a lot because one I'm a minority, uh, and it's not a lot of minority uh, young brothers who are inspired by tech, they're inspired by athletes, but they ain't inspired by tech. So I want to be able to make that difference. And two, you know, there's the stigma around professional athletes that, you know, we only football or basketball, shut up and dribble or whatever it is. And now you got these young uh, athletes, when we're in college with student athletes, these guys are game changers, LeBron, KD, Steph in the basketball, but you got Ryan Neese, who's Ryan Lott's son, who's in the Bay Area. Those guys in Southern California investing in companies like Peloton. To, so, you know, I want to be an inspiration. And um, ultimately, I, I work hard so I can retire in uh, Hidden Hills, California, or Irvine, California. I ain't figured out which, which neighborhood I want to live in yet. Who are those three wide receivers that you really love going to war against? You know, most people think about me and T.O. because we've probably seen each other the most. Um, I love going against T.O. 
I tell you, man, I, I, and, and, and not in any particular order, I love going against Terry Ho- Tory Hope. And the, re- and the reason I love going against yeah. Tory Hope is because Tory Hope, T.O., when you check T.O., and I and T.O., I can tell you that um, you just you, you just had a challenge. You had a, he questioned your offseason if you worked hard enough because you knew physically he was going to be ready. Yeah. Tory Hope did every single thing right. If you had a weakness or you got out of position, Tory would route you up. He would embarrass you, teach you to school, take you to school. And I was seeing it be the theme of that team between him and Marshall Falk and Kurt Warner. They had some eyes of They were special. And then the third guy I, I just really liked going against, it was just Randy. Because there was receivers and then there's Randy Moss. There's, let me say it again. There was receivers and then there's Randy Moss. Okay. And Randy Moss is, is a measurement us. stick. And the, reason, and the reason why I say that is because because one, you know, I don't think he had all the routes in his arsenal. I don't think Randy could run a good dig. I don't even think he ran great slants. But I think the routes he ran, the go, the post, are out, unstoppable. With, with, with his speed and his hands, and, and the one thing they don't give him enough credit, he was like Tory Holt. He was a genius when it comes to football. Randy knew everything, and I've been knowing Randy since he was in high school when we was at Ohio State giving them gloves. His brother Eric was at uh, Ohio State, and we lost him because because oh. <laughs> Coach Cooper didn't, you know, treat his brother right. But uh, okay. but Randy Moss was, you know, he was that guy, you know, and I love that because he pushed you the limits of speed, and I physically could dominate. Like I thought, T.O. was in great shape and stuff, but to me, he was a four or five. Ah, uh, that ain't gonna get. The Legacy is presented by your local Nissan dealers. Everything in our garage is inspired by our racing spirit. Racing for a great deal on the Honda Civic Sedan only at the Honda Dream Garage Spring Event. We all know things are different. Keeping you safe is not. At Innova, we ensure the safety of everyone who comes to us with safe locations, safe supplies, safe cleaning, and safe practices. You're safe at Innova. Get the facts at innova.org safety. Our new house is amazing. Great street, huge yard. There is a bit of an issue with our neighbor's fencing. <laughs> At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Which helps us save even more. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Peter. Touche. What? I'm down. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. At Inova, COVID-19 testing of all patients having a procedure or surgery, continuous training of our team members, and thorough cleaning of our facilities are just some of the many ways we work to keep you safe. You're safe at Inova. What about, though, when you decide to become part of the Burgundy and Gold and him of the Dallas Cowboys? Yeah. So once again, we got this huge rivalry. How did that work out? How was that settled? Especially the moment you hit D.C., I mean, you on fire. Yeah, so I, I wanted to come back home. And my dad flies up, there, so I come, I fly in. My, my first visit, first free agent visit was here to Washington. Uh, and I'll never forget the night we had the Mortons and Rustin. And it's Coach Bukes, my dad, and um, uh, Coach Gibbs, Greg Williams, uh, and Dwayne Walker. And then we all have dinner. There was no questions about me. It was like two, three hours of just stories of Washington football versus the Dallas Cowboys. And, you know, just just listening to Coach Gibbs and my dad and Coach Buse and those guys go back and forth, I said, I need to be a part of this. You know, because, you know, only time I ever felt like that was like the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry. A Washington Cowboy rivalry was like, I was just like, I thought I knew about the NFL, but ain't nothing like the NFC East. It's nothing like that rivalry, even when both teams are down and they talking about how they got off the plane with uh, 
uh, camouflage yeah, uniforms yeah. Oh, and yeah. uh, fighting in the corner of the end zone yeah. and, 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 and <laughs> tearing up locker rooms and, and tearing up locker rooms and, and you know and I thought I knew but after hearing those stories and it just showed the type of respect that my dad had for Coach Gibbs I would tell him to go to San Fran uh, I had about four other trips to Cincinnati my, and he was like nah you, you're going to be with this guy Coach Gibbs so that showed the level of respect that he had for Coach Gibbs well, I know all the folks, man, out in Silver Spring, Spring Buck are proud of you, man. You had the, really the living the life, the dream of playing in your hometown. It doesn't yeah. work out for everybody, nah. but you did get to experience it through a special time. You guys, because uh, again, with Snooze and Sean, all the things you guys yeah. went through, yet yeah. all in all, uh, I look at it as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a great experience. And uh, watching you and Smoot and all those guys go through it, one of my favorite teams covering was, was y'all's team because you had so many characters, but they were players. <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys yeah. have some ball players, and uh, we all yeah. wanted more wins. But overall, you had heart. Yeah, and and, and and I think you know, Doc, that goes to who you know. For me, it's important that when you think about like even the show the legacy it's important it means something to me when you think about the people who wore that burgundy and gold ahead of you when i first got there and you walk in there and you see three super bowl trophies right in the front miss bj sitting right there yeah and if, and, if, and, if, and if you walk past that and says and don't think about how you're going to get that or want yeah. that right then, then why are you in it why are you here you know, when Coach Gibbs said, we got to put our physical dominance presence on you, whether we lose the game or not, they're going to know they played us. That's when you right. came into FedEx Field, I promise you, our goal was to, like, one thing, uh, you're not going to leave healthy. You might beat us this week. You're not going to win that next week. I promise you that. I hear Greg right now. Yeah, you're right. And, well, that's and, what I love about it. And I want that passion, and that passion, it means something to you. That's the type of people that we want to uh, recruit. When you see Chase, it's about ball. Yeah. You heard what he said, it's about ball. Oh, that's how I believe it is. And that's the type of people that you have to have. And that's the type of people like the, the people like I've had a chance to talk to, spend and spend time around, uh, from yourself. You know, just, you know, and Art Monk is quiet. But one thing you, when, when I had a few times of talking to Art Monk and, and, and Daryl, but especially when just going to our monk, he don't he don't say a lot of words, but he's about his business, man. You could tell that guy was a a professional, Charles yeah. Mann, elegant talker, speaker. But you know, you could tell he had that switch when he got on the field. It, it, you know, Lunatic. Dexter, 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 Dexter shaking your hand, and he, I, I think Dexter can start right now. I think <laughs> Dexter almost broke my hand, but but the point is that it meant something. Like you know, uh, Big Jim Lachey. You know, big uh, Buckeye. Buckeye, right? You know, when I signed with something, he's Ohio State guy. It meant something to him. And hopefully, Coach uh, Rivera gets guys around there that you know that can they can preach that message. Much success, man, with the companies. Uh, when you get ready to get inserted to the hall and to the shrine and the museum, please let me know because I got to be there. Oh man, you'll be there, brother. You'll be there. Thanks, my man. That's going to do it, folks, for this week's edition of The Legacy. I told you, getting springs on, baby, getting my boy blue. It's going to be hard to beat. Stevie, Kyle, thank you so much for the great job that you do. And most of all, all the folks that see us. We'll keep doing what we do. God bless. Mm -hmm.